I feel like I need to explain myself. First of all, let me fix my microphone. Alright, there we go. I feel like I need to explain myself, huh? Hi. How are you? Sorry I did not stream yesterday. And I'll explain why. So, uh, surprise, surprise. My friend, oh god, this song. No, we're not listening to fucking Toho. Fuck off. Not right, that's, it has lyrics. I can't listen to that. I can't, I can't deal with this shit. It's a good song though. Listen to it. It sounds like I'm about to go commit. <laughs> it sounds like I'm about to go commit crimes. Let me put on like home. That's, that's always like a decent because I don't get copyrighted for it. Um, yeah, that's fine. Um, so first of all, um, uh, my friend last minute didn't have to work today so or so we decided to hang out yesterday um which i didn't know was gonna happen or else i would have not said that we weren't streaming tomorrow yesterday but whatever and another thing is um the team fortress 2 stream i did on friday was had to be deleted because uh Oh, sorry. Let me change it to ba bam. There we go. Um, it had to be deleted because for some reason I didn't know this, but the Team Fortress um, say that word gaming. No, <laughs> just because it would it would it would satisfy you if I said it. It would appeal. It would appeal to you. So no. <laughs> I'm gonna do the opposite of what you told me to do. Amogus. What's Amogus? Amogus on the stick! <laughs> um. So. <clears throat> Yeah, I had apparently the Team Fortress 2 soundtrack is copyrighted, so I wanted to make sure that that doesn't affect the channel. So I had to be safe. I just wanted to delete uh, to delete it, even though they mute the audio whenever it has copyrighted music in it. Still doesn't matter. Apparently they still can ban you, I guess. So I don't want that. So I wanted to go ahead and make sure that doesn't happen. For, it's for a good cause. It was an okay stream. I, I had a lot of fun playing Team Fortress. I played some other games on there too. Uh, there was this uh, Poker Night and then Poker Night. Or well, Poker Night at the inventory and then Poker Night 2. Those were pretty fun to play, kinda. If you like poker or Texas Hold'em or whatever. But yeah. Yesterday, I guess I'll talk about what I did. So yesterday we went, uh, we went to the mall, we walked around a bit, and I found a game. Play a horror game? Yeah, I'll make sure to do that when I'm not doing a just chatting stream today. Um, thanks for the suggestion though. We're playing Henry Stickman tomorrow. Because someone asked me to, and that's something I'd do. Even though I'm not entirely sure if I want to play Henry Stickman, because I feel like the whole point of the games are for you to get a reaction out of it. But I already know everything that happens in the games, because I've seen the playthroughs many times. Um, I haven't technically seen everything, I don't think. But, um... I have, I have, I haven't seen the updated animations of the of the original games. Actually, that's a lie. I did watch one person wa play a couple of them. That's about it. God, those those early ones are so cringy. <laughs> the early Henry Stickman games, because they have like 
really dumb memes, like out outdated memes, and the the outros to them are really dumb. I mean, <laughs> I got the epic ending. Oh my god, I'm so late epic. It's a flash game, yeah. It's a flash game from stickpage.com slash newgrounds. I used to go to stickpage uh, when I was younger as well. And on stickpage, there was fun stickman animations. I loved watching stickman getting killed. I don't know. I don't know what I was doing. I just liked watching things get killed uh, for entertainment purposes when I was younger. That's why I liked Happy Tree Friends. That's just me, at least. You know what I'm saying? I kept playing Kill Crazy J. <laughs> the boner the entire time. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, okay, I mean, whatever, I guess. I, um, I had a game called Torture Game 2 that I played a lot, and that was pretty fun. It was, if you've ever played Torture Game 2, it's, it's really kind of just a simple game. I'll even show you it right now. Uh, let me move everything around real quick, actually. Let me move everything around, okay. So, I'm just gonna show you Torture Game 2, because I can do that, because this is just chatting thing, so might as well. Torture Game 2 on Newgrounds? Sure. Flash games I'll give an exception to if I want to play it on, sh on this. Or, reacting the videos, too, because it's just chatting. Uh, did it... You wanna... Oh, I have to... Yes? Oh no. I might not be able to play it on here. Newgrounds player requires Adobe Flash plugin. Do you want to install it now? No. I say yes, and then it doesn't do it. Let me check my task manager. Let's see if it's actually doing it. Also, let me turn the music down. There you go. That's really quiet. That's good enough. Uh, it looks like it's not doing shit, so never mind. I'm not playing on Newgrounds. I'll play it on Sil- no, not Silvergate. Oh yeah, it's a Flash game. That's- I forgot. <laughs> well shit, I might not be able to show you that for purposes. Um, well this is- This is what it looked like. Oh yeah, I don't have the, um- Hold on. I have to put up a display capture. There you go. So this is what it looked like. It was this guy. And basically what you do is you just kind of like stab him or paint him. And other things like that. It was just a really... It's just a the game where you just cut someone. Wait, this was another one, but this one was shitty. This was the original. Um, this one's better. So, I remember playing that a decent amount. Exciting, right? Doesn't that get your blood boiling? Okay. Oh yeah, that's that's a torture game. Sadly, I can't even show it to you at all. Because Flash, it, it won't let me install Flash on here. Because Windows did an, a forced update that made you so you couldn't install Flash anymore. And mentally unstable. I, I disagree. I come, I, I disagree. You know, when you're a kid, you just you you're you're and you're you're introduced to the internet. You want to explore and see different things that interest you. 
and there are people who kind of like that kind of thing and they just want to it just it just fascinates people it's not more of a like it's like you know that in ancient times people would hang do public hangings right people have morbid curiosities so that's what i'm saying it doesn't matter it, 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 we, we used to fucking watch people get cut in public and people would just that was entertainment And yes, you're my only viewer. So what? Are you going to complain about it? Aki? Are you going to complain about it? Because it doesn't bother me. I did, um... Well, actually, it can. If I was, like, playing a game. But... It's whatever. This shouldn't be a big deal. Welcome to... Small Streamer? And also not streaming, uh, doing one day where I didn't stream for once, because I was busy. Right? So, um, we went to the mall. Have you ever been to a- I don't think V-Stocks are all over the world, but there's a place- there's these things called V-Stocks. Vintage stock or whatever. Um, and they have, like, older games and whatnot for, like- up, uh, they like up the price for any games that are have any kind of record like what's the word I'm looking for if they're if they're recognizable like King uh, Kingdom Hearts uh, like any Mario games anything like that um, they like usually sell those games for like $60 even though they're old and not even being made anymore blockbuster of games no Blockbuster, you rent stuff. Here, you actually buy it. It's more of, um, well, I guess technically you can buy movies at Blockbuster. Um, th that was a thing that you could do. But no, it's it's just straight up, you buy the stuff. No, we're, we're not talking about Gamefly, alright? If you remember Gamefly being a thing. I remember I was, I, I would beg my mom if we could play Gamefly. Or if we could, if we could do that. And then she was like, maybe... We never did it, but that was just, I wanted to be able to play games, and it was cheap, and you just had to rent them, so we didn't, we ended up not doing it, I would always have to get my games and rent them from Blockbuster, at like, the nearest local one that was nearby, we used to go to that one, before they tore the building down, and then put like a bank there, but... There used to be a blockbuster, and then we used to go there every weekend and get, like, a movie. This was also during the time when there was Edward versus Jacob. I was I was kind of getting... I was dragged into the um, the movies. So I, I saw, like, the first two movies or whatever, and then I watched the other... I think the third one. I never even, like, read the books to begin with. But... I, I don't know, man. Twilight was such an edgy, like, cringy movie. Looking back now, that was definitely just... I don't know. And I was this was also still when I was like... I didn't like watching scary stuff still. So, I, uh, I, didn't, I was scared of Ghostbusters. Or Goosebumps, sorry. Not Ghostbusters. Goosebumps. Um, I was afraid of watching Goosebumps. I was dragged into watching them. Pretty fun, right? But anyways, at the V stock, um, there was a there was a game that I found. There was actually a couple games, but there's a game I found. You can look it up, and I was like, I have to get this, cause I am a connoisseur of Garfield merchandise, and I have in my possession now a game for the PlayStation Two, which I could play on stream at some point. Because they have a PlayStation 2. And it was, um, it's called Garfield World Tour. I've, n I have never seen gameplay for it. I, I don't know what it's, what it looks like. I guess I should probably pull it up here. What does the Garfield World Tour game look like? 
Come on. No, stop. Don't grab that. There we go. I have to, like, move everything. What does Garfield World Tour look like? Let's watch this one. We're gonna watch... We're gonna watch... Uh, Garfield Lasagna World Tour. Uh... PS2 Virgin Inglesa Sin Commentario Parte 1 out of 2. <laughs> okay, let's, let's see this. Yeah, full screen it. That's not it. Here it is. Is there is there comment is there commentario? Is there sin commentario? We have captions. Adventure mode? Oh yeah, there's a multiplayer mode. But you know what's the weirdest part? Is that it doesn't advertise anywhere on the box itself. It doesn't say anything about ha having uh, the ability to put in more controllers. It still just says one player. So this is the game. You know, I really like you, and that's an understatement. But you'll have that's to- That's not Garfield's voice. Where's Bill Murray? Why is Bill Murray not voicing Garfield? leave for reasons of state okay well it's really for reasons of stomach but uh but but what odie my, my cake treachery this crime deserves the most severe punishment what are you hearing what i'm hearing a big treasure hunt with a lifetime worth of lasagna as a reward <gasps> do you realize hello anyone home Okay, forget it and follow me. <laughs> it's Blue Garfield. Whoa. I was really hoping there was gonna be. Okay, let's Sin go. Commentario. We're on our way to the treasure hunt store. We'll need a radar device to find the clues. He looks depressed in that picture. Garfield looked really depressed in that picture in the corner. Okay, so it's an adventure game. Okay. I'm not gonna watch the entire thing, because we can just play the game. But you get the idea. I That's the game that I got, apparently. So I guess I'll have to try that. Garfield. Game. Emmy, you just, wa you just missed me... You just missed us watching Garfield video game. Look, it's Garfield. Isn't that exciting? Uh, so I picked that up for about $10. <laughs> and then, um... I probably should have been looking out for more games. But I didn't really have anything in mind and when I was going in there. They have a, a PlayStation 5, but you have to, it's $700, and that's, and that's also, on, in addition, you have to buy a controller, I think, and, like, two, like, $60, like, new games, in order to buy the PlayStation, the one PlayStation 5 they have on hand. It's, like, $750 for a console that's only worth, like, 500 It's like, god damn. You, you'd think that that was basically how they put it. You'd think what they were trying to go for was that it was 700 in total with a two games and then the other stuff. But no, it's on top of the $750. So you're spending like $1,000 in total for a console. And... I'm pretty sure that said console is probably only slightly better 
than if a you had a computer with like a Ryzen like seven and like a, a and like a, a like an RTX ten sixty or ten eighty Ti. It would probably be maybe slightly better than that, but not a, not as much. And that alone is like already like two thousand dollars with a, key, a computer with a, everything else of course with everything else like all the, the graphics card the cpu are the most expensive but you also have the other parts as well like the fans and everything that would add up to two thousand dollars but you'd get a thousand you'd get a better experience buying that than you would if you were to buy a playstation 5 with barely any games supported for it other than ps4 games that have been out for mo many years now and you could probably buy a ps4 for a lot cheaper than that and you could just play that on the ps4 you don't need the playstation 5 for that right now that's just me anyways speaking of computers tim got a new computer Ugh. and his uh his monitor is better than mine which is makes sense he spent like 200 dollars for it it has like 144 hertz monitor now which I, he didn't even know he needed to change the settings so it would actually be 144 hertz. Um, and he has a, it's a 16, a GTX 1660 graphics card in an L Intel U. I don't like Intel, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> Isn't a GTX 1660, is that even good? Is a 1660 even good still? Eh. It's okay. New pad. Okay, uh, super gamer. Huh. Okay. So, they... The 1660 is pretty decent for 1080. And he spent like $1,000 for his computer. And he, he only was able to get a 16... So I guess a thousand... Yeah, that makes sense. 1660. I he, It's just... I He didn't say if it was a Super or a TI. He just said it was just 1660, the base one. So... I guess I mean he did get his computer pre-built. He never he didn't want to get like a he didn't want to make it himself or anything. He didn't want to build his PC. He wanted to get a pre-built one. So he spent like a thousand dollars for a pre-built one, which is kind of poo poo pee pee. <laughs> um, but hey, if that's all he needs, then that's all he needs, I guess. You know, you know what I'm saying. Is there anything else? Oh yeah, uh, we played Ronopoly, me and the boys last night, and um, what was kind of funny about it was that my friend kept going, being sent straight to jail. Camden kept like he kept getting um. He, 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 like, legitimately, the game is so busted, kinda. There's, like, some bust, like, a bug. He rolled a double to get out of jail, and they sent him straight back to jail because he rolled doubles three times. So, he, his first roll, went to jail. Rolls, gets a double, goes straight back to jail for rolling a double three times, even though he hasn't even rolled a double yet in the entire second that first part of the game that was literally that we just started the game um and the only thing i can really think of is because we hit play again because we just played a game prior to this um it count it still had his count for how many doubles he's rolled prior in the prior game so the only thing that makes sense to me is that prior to that he rolled a double and then he rolled a double to get to the jail and then he rolled a double 
whenever he was trying to get out of it and then that put him back in jail for rolling a double so it counted his double that he rolled and it doesn't cancel it that's that's what makes sense to me if we're looking at it code wise it just kept that information for some reason from the last game even though the last game was over it was the weirdest bug but it was super hilarious because he kept being put in jail that entire game and then he only he won it from having all of the railroads last minute and tim over here having like all the money in the world and having all the property but he didn't have enough property to be able to he didn't have a triple monopoly he was getting close but it just took it just took um um it just took no d demo no no bad demo bad it just took like one good a couple good rolls and also me being bankrupt and, and losing my last i had the only railroad um so that was that that sucked i i did not i won like one game and then those last two games i just it was like 3 a.m in the morning because the time went forward an hour so the last game where i had like one property I just left. <laughs> I just left the game in voice chat without without saying bye. I, I did an Italian exit and left. Pretty exciting, right? But, um... Yeah, man. It's fun playing Ronopoly with friends. But, uh, Exploding Kittens. That's a lot of fun. I love Expo Exploding Kittens is my favorite card game so far it is one of it is basically my number one in card games i love exploding kittens i have all the i have all of the the dlc or the expansion passes that they have i think they have only three right now actually let me even check um have you if you've ever played exploding kittens i recommend it and also the dlc if you like them some merch of it the game is fucking great it's one of my favorite fucking fucking board games or card games it is fun and it has it's like it's literally just a russian roulette with cats we play the uh nsfw version um all the products let me see here what products yeah there's a squeezable kitten with a grenade and its mouth yeah they've made other games but i don't uh, we look at them we read them and like eh I don't know. Now, the party pack Exploding Kins looks very interesting. I do not own that one. Because I don't have 10 friends at once. They actually made a expansion pass for Bears vs. Babies, which I've never really played. They have all these interesting games that they've made, but... Yeah, I, I like... Um... Family friendly. Yep. Box plays sounds. I didn't even know they, they had one that plays sounds. That's cool. And it's limited edition now. You have different versions of the um thing. But um yeah, it, it's it's a good goodie in my opinion. Now what's weird to me is why don't they have all the expansions for exploding kins? Have you played Munchkin? No, we don't know if it's good or not. We haven't looked at... I, I like, look at... We go to Barnes & Noble, like, at the mall every time we hang out. And we look at the board games, and then we're like, will we like this? And then we don't know, because there's, like, we don't have anything, any kind of way of knowing if it's good or not. So, we just kind of don't get it. And we looked at Munchkins, and we... It kind of looks like a kid's game, and I don't know if it has any kind of depth or if it's even good at all. So, we just avoid it. Imploding Kittens. I need to buy that again just so I can have the box. 2014 loved it. The mini expansion packs. I mean, I'd have to look up a video of it, because again, we are very particular. Like, you know... It, it we the, you know um cards against humanity we don't even find that fun because um 
it's just it's just so predictable to us we i think we're just so desensitized that any of the jokes that are made on there are, aren't even really that funny we played it one time us three like a couple like two or three no four years ago we played it it was it wasn't really fun and then we just stopped playing it <laughs> That was just us. And it's not like that. I don't know what it is. I will say there are some things in um, Barking Kittens, which is the third expansion. I, I'm waiting for the fourth one. I want the fourth one. I want a fourth expansion pack. I have an arrow copy. V C how it works? No, I can just watch a video online on how it works. We have another board game that we haven't really gotten to really give it a try. Because we haven't had en really enough players as of late. Um, I have a game called Scythe. That I spent like a shit ton of money for. Um, and we got to play it one time. And that game's definitely like that. If you like uh, um, Settlers of Catan, then you'll like this one more because it's more fun uh, than that one. It's about building up kind of like a, an army. You get supplies, and then in the middle is a place where you can get a mech. Excuse me. I even have an expansion for it so you can have up to more players than that. Um, than the base amount. You like Settlers of Catan? I don't really like it. It's boring. I played it one time and it was just really, really boring. It's not really that fun. We still like Monopoly though. Monopoly, even though that's a classic as well, that one's still fun. Um, it, it's fun to make people depressed. D, D we've gotten to have some kind of campaign like one time and then we got like a well we got to play it a couple times it was us four plus his Tim's brother um and we we played a couple games like a couple part of a campaign that we were doing it's a campaign that the D, D made themselves and we had our friend Ben, he's been on the stre uh, streams a couple times. All of them have been on streams at least once. Um, ben, he uh, he was the dungeon master, and that was we since we actually were able to get a game started and set up and doing all that stuff. It was actually really really fun. It, it is a lot of fun if you can get the game started. But yeah, I just. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's fun if you can get it started, but the hard part is getting people together. That's probably the most difficult thing, because if you can't get the people together consistently, like we were able to do when it was just us four or whatever, then it, we can't really get it done. Uh, and then Monopoly. Oh yeah, you have different versions of Monopoly. We've played different versions, and they're all shitty. Like, we played the gamer one, and that one was terrible. Um, we, we, my, Tim ended up cutting off the heads of the, uh, of the, uh, pieces, of the character pieces. So all the Mario characters were headless. Um, extra banking. Um, the issue that we have with majority of them is that most of them, for some reason, unless it's like, if it's a theme, most of the time, it's the original board. But if it's a, if it's a gimmick, like electric banking, they give you the small junior kids board. Um, that's the, that's the Monopoly junior board, which is shitty, and I fucking hate the junior board. Um, because everything, it's smaller, you only have, like, two spaces for all of them, the money is stupid, um, 
It's just not. It's just really fucking annoying. Um, we've we've almost gotten the electric banking. The issue is that it's not enough original board, so we don't think it would be good. <laughs> and that's the only reason. Money management is so much easier for me. If you can take the b electric banking and use an original, you can just it, you don't have to play with that board that it gives you. Then we will play with it. That would be an easy way for us to do it. But if you can't do that, then fuck that. <laughs> I I don't I like the original board. That's just me, and also them. We're all in agreement. Also, Uno's kind of gotten boring. Boring. You can. How does it work? <laughs> I'll have to bring it up. I need to figure it out because I'd have to bring it up with the boys and then we'd have to get it and figure it out that way. Uh, oh man. Yeah, I like board games though. That's basically what we do now. There was this really cool Uno um, board game. Like, there was this cool Uno um, theme that they did that was looked really neat. You know, explain in text. I can just watch a video. Honestly. I, I should just watch videos. The issue is that I'm probably just going to forget most of this stuff. Like, Munchkin. I already forgot about that. <laughs> I had to look up to see when you mentioned Munchkin. I've been grinding on Welcome to Bloxburg on Roblox again. Because uh, I wanted to work on the house some more. Um, because I there's still parts of it that I want to finish up and make it look good. Uh, I already did like the floor plan for one of the, the floors for one of the floors that I just did. Um, which was a, a floor that was completely blocked off up until now. Um, and I don't know if I want to turn it into, like, a walk-in restaurant or not. You just take the board you want to use, then take the credit cards and banking thing and use it for that. But doesn't ha doesn't the banking thing have a specific commands for... Because it wouldn't use the original prices for... Because if it's the junior board, it has a specific that has its own like weird money system with how much the properties cost for each one so it'd really fuck everything up with how much we'd have to pay for everything and all that stuff it would be kind of annoying if 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 that's how it works and if the junior board has doesn't have the original prices for properties and also similar things like the chance cards if we have to pay for things like that or um like, I don't know. You, you get what I'm saying? Skirt. Skirt. VC? No. <laughs> no VC. Uh, you see, the problem with VCs and VCing random people is that I can't control you. If that makes sense, I can't control what you say. So, and I don't know you. You're just a viewer to me. I can't just uh, just straight up just call you or have be in a VC with you and just have you be on here randomly because then everybody will want to be on VC. Besides muting me? Yeah, that wouldn't stop you from saying it before I muted you, yeah? If you were to say anything, that would get me banned. N no, no, like, don't take this to heart, by the way. It's not, it's not you... It's just that if I give you anything, the ability to have any kind of voice on here, then everybody else will want to. 
and then it'll become a, a bigger issue. So it's good to stop then and there. I'm only making one exception to when I sh because I'm actually gonna be talking to said person prior, and they've been a viewer of mine for like almost two years now, and they they talk to me privately, and I've talked to them privately in text. I've never heard their voice before, um, but I've talked to them privately, so I'd have to make sure that they don't do stupid shit. Um, by maybe talking to them prior to the stream, but I'm still figuring that out. Uh, I don't think, yeah, he only said one thing, whatever. But that's the, like, I make very few exceptions, because it, it runs into a huge problem. Because people like to use streamers as a way of getting attention. Uh, you see it happen all the time. And it gets really frustrating. Because I want to entertain you guys. I don't want the entertainment to go towards anybody other than me. If that makes sense. Or whoever else I bring on. No, I've I've heard you talk in VC. You're like a like a 14 year old who just says mate or whatever. Who tries to talk like a demo man. It's, it's like, really cringy. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's mean. But that that's what you did. <laughs> the f only time I ever, ever heard you talk, you were talking like you were Demo Man. But you didn't actually have, like, Demo Man's voice at all. So it was like, it was like some, like, it was like a... Um... That was like a, like, <laughs> it was like, it's like watching two kids like RP and Dungeons and Dragons for the first time. Kind of cringe. That's, that's how I felt. <laughs> Good. I don't like it when people do like shticks on, like, just like, they, they act like their character that they're naming themselves after. They, they put their entire personality on the internet as said person. I purposely did a really obnoxious voice that made people hate my character. And I gave myself, like, a huge amount of charisma. So I was, like, almost max charisma. just to piss people off <laughs> and I was also a half elf and for some reason everybody in my D&D campaign was racist against half elves because that's what dungeon master wanted to do let me see here what kind of hat is that Ew. I hate the new avatar shop. I don't like the avatar shop. You were supposed to warn them. Oh, bro, you were supposed to do this, bro, but you didn't do it because Oh my god, why didn't you do what I was you're supposed to do? Even though D&D is about you making decisions and then the dungeon master having to deal with your bullshit. Like 90% of the time. I think the thing, the worst human invention that has ever been created are emojis. I don't- I feel like that's probably been the worst thing we've ever done to humanity. Okay. I like how Roblox has recommended me chess and then chess in all caps and because chess in all caps has large text on it 
regardless of it being not made first, <laughs> people are going to click on the one because it looks more flashy than the other one. Because it has shiny lights and a shinier thumbnail. Therefore, it looks more appealing. That's marketing to uh, for you, buddy. That's called manipulating. I, I forgot the specific term for it, but there is actually a term for something like that. Shiny be epic. Yes. Seven. Too young. Too young to be playing Dungeons and Dragons. If I ever had kids, um, I guess, eh, Dungeons and Dragons at seven, actually. I take that back. I take it back entirely because it, it, it um, it encourages the imagine, um, a child's imagination. And that's, that's the, that's the, that's the spirit of, of being a child, right? Is to being, being able to, to imagine a new world really easily. Call of Duty Zombies when you were four? No, you didn't. Yeah, when you're four, you just were. You you probably could barely walk when you were four. I would say you were probably f at maybe at least six years old. I I'd say I I say four is way too young for you to actually start playing again because you probably wouldn't even understand anything that's going on still. I would understand if you watched your dad play Call of Duty Zombies, because I watched my dad play GTA. Well, actually, he wouldn't play... I was a lot, a little bit older before I was watching him play GTA sometimes. Um, well, I would watch him play other games, but I, I was... My games that I was sticking to were toys, um, like Hot Wheels, on my race car mat, and... Um, like an Atari, one of those like plug and play, kind of like Atari games that you plug into the uh, TV and then you just play it like that. That was the game I played growing up before I could even touch the PlayStation 2. And um, my first, probably my first PlayStation 2 game was ATV Off the Road Fury 2 or 1. It was one of the two. And I would watch my dad play SOCOM sometimes as well. I'm I'm still more of just I like watching people play. I, I I I mean I like playing, but I'm I'm completely okay with just watching people play games rather than actually playing it and hogging the game myself. Cause I fi I fi I want to entertain people. I, I like watching people entertain and just talking to people, like um basically backseating. Like uh there's this one kid at my dad's house that I used to watch. He, he 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 was living there for a little bit or, or came over i don't know if he was living there or came over for a little bit and he was playing final fantasy i've never watched a single final fantasy game once in my life but it was a lot of fun to watch and talk to him while he was playing final fantasy i did a similar thing to someone else who was playing aliens versus predators for xbox 360 and i would just sit there and watch him play through the entire game because it was just entertaining to watch someone and talk to them while they're playing a game kind of like how streaming is now see it's almost like something that i used to do when i was younger has evolved into something that is universally done now where you everyone just watches a person play a game it's always been a thing there's people out there who just like to watch the xbox 360 controller just melted with my hands what half the time there's like one thing i would mimic and that was just me being a little kid is that my dad had cookies and he would get he would eat cookies sometimes so uh we got to share a moment because he always wakes up in the middle of the night and i thought if i wake up early i could sneak in grab some cookies and start eating them and I guess he woke up, he heard me, and he woke up, and then we sat down and did his tradition of eating cookies while drinking milk. Just dipping it in there, there in the middle of the night. I was just trying to steal some cookies. Because I, I watched where he put them, 
So I was just like, okay, I'm gonna steal some of his cookies and then I'm gonna eat them when they're asleep. <laughs> it was a it's a fun little intimate moment. Intimate? What? <laughs> no, we didn't do anything weird. Yeah, I I used to steal cookies when I was younger. When I was younger. Back in my day. Yep. Yep. I don't know. I, I find it hard to bring myself to play video games now. Unless I'm watching something, like something's playing in the background. Like for some reason, just listening to music isn't enough sometimes for me. Which is kind of weird. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. It's, it's kind of like, I feel like I need to hear someone else talk now. While I'm playing games. I don't know. It's odd. Like podcasts would be good. I like listening to podcasts sometimes. But I've been kind of, I've been really lazy on podcasts lately. I've been just kind of just, just kind of ignoring them, I guess. And watch. Nah. I mean, I like playing games and all, but I feel like I need to hear something else other than the game. I feel like I have to have something else. Crits cast. Ew. <laughs> I don't know why I said instinctively said ew, but when I heard crits, I like winched. I'm like, Ugh! I like freaked out. Who's crits? Who is crits? Who the fuck is? Oh, it's a Team Fortress thing. Of course, of course, Demo Man likes Team Fortress podcast. Is that what it is? Is it actually a Team Fortress podcast? Man, they must be really running low on stuff to talk about considering the game hasn't been touched by the, the by the development team at all. Since 2007 to 2008. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... I mean, I mean, at least at, at that point they had things to talk about, but Team Fortress is fucked now. Again, I blame Valve for not doing anything, and it, also the development team for not putting any kind of interest into a game that you can clearly put more stuff in, but they decided they don't want to, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what's going on over there at, in the team. They used to make really funny blog posts, too. One of my favorites was the story of... Well, it's one of the only ones I know, but during a blog post, they talked about a story of a guy who started working for for the Team Fortress 2 team at Valve, and he was getting, he was kind of getting weird vibes because he was just working there to actually make new things, like new maps for the game, and it was a whole joke on the company and how they develop stuff, uh, and um, everybody was just so obsessed with hats. Everybody who came to work was wearing hats. Um, everybody, they were just working on making hats, and the developer was just kind of freaked out about it and wondering why aren't they making new maps for the game or any, any kind of new updates. And then he made an entirely new map and everything, and then it got scrapped because some guy made a hat with like a bucket on it. Like a bucket for a hat. And then, I think everybody was getting mad at him because he was, he wasn't making hats and he wasn't like them. So then they basically, he, he hid in the janitor's closet, they killed him, and put, made him a, 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 as a hat. And then the whole bit is there's like a, there's like a carton of milk, and it says this person's missing. You can look it up, it's a real thing that was on their blog website, on the Team Fortress blog thing. There's a thing they actually made. 
Which is kind of ironic. It's not a true story. It's just a made-up story just to poke fun at the fact that they make hats all the time for the game. To be fair, I don't have an issue with hats, with the hats in the game. Um, I- actually, could you even still get hats, or did they completely remove that feature? Did they uh, you, you have to buy crates to actually get hats in the game, or can you naturally get hats, still? Minecraft blog post with TNF2. I might remember that. I miss the old T. I miss the old Minecraft website where it would tell you every single time someone bought a game. There was like a counter, a live counter. The random drop system. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, because I haven't gotten a new hat from that since. I don't even think you can get unusual. Can you even get an unusual from the drop system or no? That would have to be extre extremely rare. Like, extraordinarily rare. Right? I, I, I don't know. I should probably look it up. I should probably look it up. Oh, hi, dear. When did you start streaming at around when I started streaming? Thanks for the raid, by the way. When did you when did you start like doing streams at around when I started? Cause I I didn't. I just moved my time forward to six thirty p.m. Central Time, cause it's a late stream. That's oh, okay. Cause I feel I I don't know. It's I. I just uh I, I you used to stream around when like an hour before I streamed. Uh, at three or something or two or three my time so I, I didn't know if you were just changing your times what did you do were you playing a uh, vr chat or were you doing some other things or minecraft i think right you're doing minecraft right but yeah anyways i'm just talking about random things it's not really anything exciting. I haven't- I didn't stream yesterday because I was seeing friends. Um, so, sadly I didn't get to do a Shinmu stream. But I like playing- I've been- I've been really enjoying playing Shinmu. It's a really good game. Um, I- I like the story. Uh, I mean, well, it's not, like, really, really good. It has its flaws, obviously. Um, with its, uh, gameplay. But- it's, there's something really relaxing and enticing about the game that I f I think I I'm trying to understand what gets what makes it click. I'm still trying to figure that out because it, I guess like obviously for me it, it's a, it's a good game in my eyes only because I like walking simulators and that's literally all it really is with like some interaction with the world, um, obviously. But I really like I really like that game though. It's 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 a good recommendation if you like walking simulators and just listening to bad uh, voice acting. <laughs> it, it, again, I I would like I would like to say that people who do comic dubs have better voice acting than the voice acting in Shinmu. But then again, I guess it was a game that came out like what year did it come out? Hold up, what year did Shinmu come out? What year did Shinmu come out? It came out in. 1999 holy shit okay so yeah shinmu came out in 1999 i guess i, I i'll have to cut him slap because it was the 90s i guess like late 90s and i remember there's a really interesting video you can look up that actually brings up shinmu's voice acting um list for the english trend like the english game i don't know if it i don't know how <clears throat> good the voice acting is in the Japanese version but in the English one from what I understand everybody who is doing voice acting for games like that um do it for Japanese games that were getting English translations a lot of them worked on Shinmu during this time and you can watch a super a, a video that someone made where they were trying to find the narrator for Super Monkey Ball 
um, really interesting video where he went into like a huge amount of effort to find the voice actor for the narrator of Super Monkey Ball for the GameCube. Um, I think he was also in the second one and the third one, but he, he was never credited in the credits. I think he was one of those kind of people who you don't have to put them in the credits. But it's a really cool video. I'd recommend it if you want to look it up. It's really easy to find. All you have to do is just put in um, the search for the narrator from Super Monkey Ball. That's it. He, it's it's and that that's a cool little fact though that that most of those games during that time, most of the the English voice actors for those Japanese games were f also did also did Shinmu. And there's a lot of voice actors in Shinmu. Like, almost every character almost has an entirely unique voice. And you, every single time you talk to them about certain subjects, they always have some kind of answer in their voice. Which is a lot of detail, uh, considering it was 1999. So there is a lot of, to the game that you have to give it credit for, for its time. And that's why I think it, it really was such a good game. And I still like it. I, I, I really like it. Um... Even as a person who hasn't even played those, I can really appreciate older games for what they are. Um, I'd like to thank AVGN for that, because a a Angry Video Game Nerd really got me into wanting to play older games when I was younger. Uh, and even to now, I, I love playing classic games. Even, th even though I didn't grow up during those times, I like to try them out. Uh, I remember I, I wanted to get an Atari I, I was only able to get the Atari flashbacks, but I got to play like some classic Atari games and one of them was Adventure and Man, we, we've gone we've gotten far with games. We've gotten so so far with games uh, I don't even know when Adventure came out. I think that was like in the 80s Yeah, it, I think most games came out in the eight like that and Atari came out in the 80s. When did um Adventure come out? That came out, yeah, in the 1980s, uh, initial release. And yeah, we... Games have evolved so fast. So fast. And... I don't know, man. I gotta I gotta try uh, those Odysseys. I gotta try that at some point. The, the really old ones where it's just a CRT TV, a little dot, and then you just use your imagination. And I... Again, if you don't have any idea on like those kind of games definitely watch avgn because he really can help you understand the significance of these games and take you back to the past uh because it's really it's really a ride i love avgn and i still need to watch his newer videos i just haven't really felt like it i don't know maybe it's like the thing where you grow out of stuff and maybe i'm growing out of avgn maybe i'm getting too old for him but i don't know he still pumps out good videos uh, every once in a while. I mean, I like I, I like his, um, the first thing that comes to mind, I really like his short video he did for Crazy Bus. That was a weird game that someone made for the Sega Genesis, like, in 2007. Like, after this, <laughs> the Sega Genesis that was, like, not being produced anymore and no games were being made for it anymore. Someone just, for some reason, made it. Yeah, E.T. for the Atari. Um, although his movie was kind of okay. It wasn't the best movie in the world, honestly. But I like AVGN and I like his... Uh, well, I like James. His name's James. I I'm going to refer to him as James for this part. Because uh, James, he is a filmmaker. He's always been into filmmaking. And I really like his passion that he, he that he put into it because he, he he wanted for the film he really wanted um he really wanted to make something that you could tell that it was made and how it was done so then it could get you to want to do something like that it was it was kind of like a way to open people up to wanting to do similar things and then yeah et was okay <laughs> it's weird because i think i remember playing et when i was actually a lot younger uh my aunt had an atari i think with a bunch of different atari games and i played uh and i think i did play et that was such a i did not know what was going on at all and i gave up like five minutes into it <laughs> your dad has some pretty funny stories um telling me about the game you can beat the game because it was released unfinished 
Which one? The E.T. game? I, no, you can beat it. It's just really unclear on what you have to do. You can beat an E.T. for the Atari. It was made in, like, I think, f three days, right? <laughs> but that was, like, the game that caused the video game crash. And then, it, and then Nintendo revived the video game genre. It's funny how Nintendo started out as a video game company. And um, that completely re reminds me of a video. Another YouTube video. Um, so there's a video called... Um, it was made by some ordinary gamers, which, by the way, I don't like. I don't like doing this. I don't know why people do this, but you know how you always have people who love to talk about how they're such a huge fan and they like to explain how, oh, dude, I was such a huge fan. I watched you when you only had two subscribers. I hate those people. Well, I don't hate them. I just don't like. I don't like constantly hearing that from people. Like, oh, wow, that's so cool. <laughs> Thanks, man. I'm happy that you supported me all those years. I guess it's a way to like show that they like it, but it is kind of really annoying to hear after the 50th time you've heard it. Like, that's cool. I would rather just know that you were a fan. You don't have to tell me that you've been a fan for this many years. You don't have to do that. You can just tell me that you were a fan. That's cool. I'm happy that you were a fan. You don't have to explain to me that you you know you know certain references and you can make certain references from old videos. I've been watching. I've watched PewDiePie, some ordinary gamers. Um, who's who else is really popular? Proton John, he's kind of popular. Ooh. There was uh, who else was it? I, if you guys haven't heard of Proton John, he actually started making videos again on YouTube, by the way. But um. You already watched PewDiePie? Um, so yeah, there was, there was PewDiePie, um, I, I talked about Phantom Savage and his channel on the last Just Chatting stream we did. Um, I talked all about how I used to love their stuff. Um, I, yeah, I, I've known, even back then, PewDiePie was popular. He, he was getting around by word of mouth alone in my school. Um, people were just like, I, I knew he existed. But people kept telling me, hey, you should watch PewDiePie. I'm just like, eh, I don't like scary games. Because he was just known to play scary games at the time. Which, by the way, he changed up the pace. So I didn't start really watching him until 2012 or 2013. When he started doing his non-video, like, horror games. Um, because I was too scared to watch uh, scary games at the time. <laughs> uh, also, take a drink for every time I say at the time or when I was younger. Um, so, that's when I, when, when he did his Limbo playthrough, that's when I started watching him, and then I also started watching his Happy Wheels playthrough as well, on top of Uberhacks or Nova, which it was another person that I watched as well growing up, um, he was another one that was a little bit smaller too, and then Tobuscus Games and Toby, you know, Tobuscus, I was watching all those people, for a long time, some ordinary name, uh, some ordinary gamers. I was watching him around when he was still not really even known. By the way, uh, he was. I think also got me introduced introduced me to Twitch. I think, yeah, he introduced me to Twitch, which by the way I knew was Justin TV, uh, because the Creature Hub was did stuff for Justin TV before it became Twitch TV. To recommend me what to watch until 2018 made an account and have subscriptions okay yeah i've been oh yeah clay world uh that was another one clay world introduced me to youtube i believe it was like the first video and there was these two kids that were a lot older than me they introduced me to roblox and they introduced me to youtube and they, they they're the reasons why i was introduced to little big planet playstation 3 they introduced me to everything we used uh, call of duty everything they got me into so many new things that I was just I, I I gotta thank them for that because they got me in the Roblox and they were playing Roblox even earlier than I was um, so they were probably playing it like by like 2007 they probably were playing it I didn't even have a chance to play it until a couple years later um, in 2009 
and then YouTube, similar thing. Literally everything. I got to be, when I finally got a computer I could play everything on, 2009 was the year. Pretty sure I was interested in YouTube because of my mom opened out on a laptop 2009 and 2010. Yeah. And I was like, right when there was still a social media kind of thing. Um, and they also had the messages thing. Uh, they had that whole messaging system still, the DM kind of thing, which was weird. <laughs> YouTube was so weird with its setup. But I will say that old YouTube, if, it, it, like, around that time, my struggles with YouTube was that I've always wanted to make YouTube videos when I was a kid. Because it was just something that I I found like, oh, I really want to do this. This is something I really wish I could do. But I was always limited by my age and um, my ability to even have the equipment I needed to make videos. Was it Beach Prank? Yeah, my first videos were uh, Dr. Bob Saves the Day by Clay World. Um, the first one. And then uh, I'm a Gummy Bear video. And then... Followed by Axel F, Crazy Frog, and then followed by Happy Tree Friends. And then also 9-11 videos, which was, for some reason, I watched those all the time. I don't know why I watched the tragedy multiple times happen. It was also the first time I heard the term Annie Alert, which is also just means that someone got kidnapped. Uh, I didn't, I, that was the first time I heard that term, Annie Alert. Which, it, they don't even use that. Do they still use that term? Because I believe where, where it came from, that term, was there was this girl named Annie who was kidnapped from a neighborhood. And it became a whole term because they couldn't... She became missing forever. They couldn't find her. I think she was killed. This video I watched was the gummy bear. I was watching it with my dad on his PC. You remember that video that was also similar to Gummy Bear or Axel F? And it was the, uh, the hippo running on the treadmill? video i remember that was constantly popping up on youtube was those weird like 3d animated videos doesn't ring a bell they were playing like some like copyrighted song on it It was like, it was like, yeah, it was like just some weird copyrighted song playing behind while he was running on a treadmill and falling on his ass. And there was like a giraffe in the background, I think, or some kind of animal in the background. And that was constantly getting recommended, if you can remember where that was. That was, that was everywhere. And then also Fred. I was introduced to Fred by someone recommending it to me. And then I watched Fred and I, my dad hated Fred. This was around the time I was watching at his house. And also I was introduced to, um... And then after Fred, it was introduced to Halo Machinimas, like, on Forge maps. That was my introduction to Halo. I never own- I've never played a Halo game. The only- the only Halo game I've ever played was, um... O ODST. That was the only one I've ever gotten to really play. But I remember watching old Halo Machinimas, which I've already done a whole stream talking about that in the past. And showing those videos off. Half of them? Yeah, I was not an Xbox person. I've known a lot of, like... It's so weird. You know what's another thing I associate Xbox, like, 360s with? is just poor people. Why do poor people just always have xboxes it's like the only like video game console apparently even though it was like kind of current gen at the time it's so weird it's such an odd phenomenon i guess xbox were just so popular and also cheaper than um ps3 rise this isn't isn't this the 20th anniversary of 9 11 yeah this year's gonna be the 20th anniversary That is a thing. And then I jokingly said, um, I would watch 9-11 for 10 hours on 9-11. <laughs>
which is such a dumb joke. How would I? There, I don't think 9 11 10 hours is a video. Yeah, 9 11 for 10 hours isn't even a video. It doesn't exist. I could watch the 9-11 as events unfold for 10 hours, but I'd have to like, like, create an entire video specifically for it. Oh yeah, another video I used to watch was the, uh, there's this game called, I think it was called, um, Ungu or Longu. No, it's not Ubangu. There was this game that was very water. It was physic. It was a physics-based like um, platform, and um, I remember watching a video called uh, "It was 2012 or something." It was just end of the world channel tra tra trailer video, and it was just. Th these people would make they made like stick figures and they like make them like dying in weird ways That was another thing new grounds it was another thing I got into in 2009 as well on top of that because I was using the I knew about the, all this stuff prior But I couldn't actually do anything about like I could I didn't have any way of being able to access to this stuff get access to it until way later So I used Newgrounds when I was younger, just kind of looking around exploring. And then, uh, yeah, stick figure videos, I used to watch those all the time, and stick figure games. I, I liked stick figure games, like, um, there was a, uh, there's a website called Funbrain, which was the, the person who created Pop Tropica and Jeff Kinney, the person who created Pop Tropica and, um, and, uh, what was it? Funbrain and, um, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Madness Combat. Yeah. I the I already played through the demo of the Project Nexus game. Um, it was it was thanks to Pico Day and Madness Day that introduced me to Madness Combat and then Pico. I didn't even think they had it for the DS. Oh yeah, they did. They did. Man, I love the DS. Okay, I will say this. The DS era was such a fun time. Like that, I've never gotten to experience another time where everybody would. I would go to my dad's and everybody would just pull out their DS's and we'd play Picto Chat and Mario games on multiplayer, like Mario Kart or something. I I loved the socializing of the original DS because everybody was able to just socialize with each other, play stuff, just mess around. It was a good time. DSi, I never got to. I got. I never got to own a DSi. Um, I got to own a 3DS years later, during high school. And that was at its end of its line. And now it's like around like when Smash 4 for the 3DS came out. But I've only ever owned a Game Boy, Advanced SP, a DS, and a 3DS. Oh, well, I, yeah, I only owned a 3DS XL. So Pokemon games during the DS era. I got introduced to the Pokemon game during the Game Boy S like Advanced SP. The the Fire Red. It's the only game uh, Fire Pokemon other than Mystery Dungeon. Those are the only two Pokemon games I've ever owned. And I've never even beaten Pokemon once. I've never beaten it. Because I never even knew how you played it. I just would walk around, get Pokemon. And then I would eventually just start a new game. Pokemon Ruby. Yeah. I got really sucked into the Pokemon craze. The Yu-Gi-Oh craze. And the um. Like a. Uh, yeah. Just the Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh craze. At one point. And I, I didn't really even care that much about Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't even know how to play it. Uh, Pokemon. Obviously I had like an old. Pokemon book. Which I might still have. I'm not entirely sure. Um, it was just a book showing off the different generations of Pokemon, and, um, yeah, I, I that's the, I don't know, I, I, I also had Pokemon cards, too, at one point. <laughs> yeah. 
fun, right? Um, Mystery Dungeon is such a weird game. Actually, let me look up Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Oh yeah, Pokey MMO. If you wanna, um, if you wanna play a multiplayer, like online multiplayer classic Pokemon game, play Pokey MMO. You'll like it. It's free to play. Traded up five years. Gotten many breaks, EXEs, Mega EXEs, and GXs. Yeah. I don't. I didn't think they still did um breaks anymore. Uh, they don't do those anymore. They don't do breaks. Pokey MMO. Yeah, Pokey MMO. It's a thing. Don't tell. Don't tell Nintendo. Oh shit, so Pokemon Mystery Dungeon is a roguelike. So I had Blue Rescue. Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue for the DS. That was the one I owned. I didn't have the green one. Um, I had the blue one. Blue Rescue. That was the one I got to play. I didn't even know it was a roguelike, so I guess that was my first roguelike I've ever owned. Which is kind of funny. Pokemon mod? Um, yes. I used to watch, uh, again, when I watched the creatures, uh, there was, um, Sly Foxhound, and he did a Pokemon playthrough kind of thing that I watched sometimes. He got a Mew. He was playing with, uh, Immortal HD would pop on sometimes, and Uber Nova would pop on sometimes. I have no idea why Nintendo screws over the modding community constantly. Because it's an IP. They can do that. Legally. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's annoying that the community can't do it. But they are allowed to do it. I mean, that's what people should be... If they're going to be modding something from Nintendo, they should know that there there's the possibility of being shut down entirely if they tried doing something like that. They should, they should know that that's a possibility and a thing that could happen. It, so, I'm not going to get frustrated over it because, again, nothing lasts forever. So, yeah. You know what I miss? You know, Markiplier should play, um, SCP Containment Breach. It's really annoying to watch people play SCP Containment Breach when they're so, they, when they lack uh, so much knowledge about the game as much as I know whenever I play it. That's a Twitch emote. Let me see. It's animated. I'd have to put it on Frankzy or something. I'd have to make it as a Frankzy emote. Or, um, yeah, I'd have to make it as a Frankzy or um, Frank or Z or whatever it's called. Uh, Better TV. Better TTV. Oh yeah, my first introduction to Counter-Strike was a long time ago, and, I, and same with World of Warcraft. I've known those for a very long time. I would somewhat get into them, and then I didn't play them, um, because I had a shitty computer. Uh, so I couldn't really play them properly. I had a Windows XP for a very long time. Mark when he played the first FNAF game. Uh I think it it was it was SCP for me, and that was one of the games that made his channel blow up. I think SCP was one of the reasons why his channel got popular. And then also his drunk series he did with um uh with Wade and um his other I forgot his other friend's name, I'm sorry. <laughs> I used to and I used to for some reason instinctively not like 
Wade, even though I think it's just a joke between them. Oh, yeah, also the Derp crew I used to watch all the time. Yeah, Bob and Wade, thank you. Yeah, Bob. I liked Bob because he was nice. <laughs> but I didn't really, I don't watch their videos that much anymore. And that's just because I just grown out, have grown out of it. Drinking alcohol. Who? Oh, Bob. I didn't know he, he couldn't drink alcohol after a while. Such a weird series, huh? One of my favorite videos, which is a really good video if you want to look back at like many years of Markiplier's playthrough, is that there's a Markiplier test thing that he did. Oh, that's why it ended. Okay. Yeah, there was a, um, he did a test. It was a, do you know Mar a Markiplier test that he did. And, um, while he's playing through it, he, pr he brings up clips of all the references of the test. It's a good way of just kind of wrapping up the entire, his entire channel from before that time prior with a bunch of just inside jokes and things like that, that I really, it really got me into wanting to look into it. Like where's the blacksmith memes? El yeah. Amnesia also helped his channel grow too. Um, I used to watch, um, I used to watch uh, PewDiePie play through his Amnesia custom playthroughs, and then he stopped doing them. But this was way before. Like I, he, he didn't play it for a bit, and then uh, PewDiePie was a really weird era of PewDiePie when he was like, he was like uploading in the kitchen of his like it was like a weird abandoned kitchen in his house. Tiny Max Tim, yeah. And then I feel bad for the reason why he had to stop doing uh. Um, where PewDiePie had to stop doing Fridays with PewDiePie's was because it actually gave him a panic attack or something. It almost killed him or something like that. I think that's all, what he said is the reason why he stopped doing them. Remember Mark playing an RPG fam game where Tiny Box Tim was the main character? Yeah, I, I remember that. There was also his playthrough of um, the... Uh, the, f the FNAF fan game RPG where people were just assholes to each other and he would drink every episode. Which was a weird one. <laughs> I think it was like Dink Nights at Freddy's or something. That was a funny, silly game. <laughs> Such an odd, odd time. ROM hacks were really popular back then. If you look up Super Cold One... Um, he's an old YouTuber that apparently has, is kind of an asshole, um, from what I understand, inside his, his whole, whole group, his friend group there, but, um, he had a, he had a, yeah, Friday Nights at Fuck Boys, Fuck Boys, that's what it was called, um, and, uh, there was, um, there was a mod, he, there was a ROM hack he made, and from what I understand, it's one of the hardest ROM hacks uh, of Super Mario World. One of the hardest ones. Other than Kaiju. I think that's the name of it. I'm trying to remember the really old one. That's like really, really difficult. Because that specific ROM hack. Is what spawned a bunch of just. Really hard tricks that only professional ROM like player. Yeah, Kaizo. Thank you so much. Yes, Kaizo. Thank you. So that spawned a lot of ROM hack games. Like that, that everybody would always say, "This is a Kaizo trick. This is a classic Kaizo trick." Something like that. And um, <clears throat> so many games would use the different aspects of a Kai of the Kaizo ROM hack. Um, and Cold World, Super Cold World, what is probably, from what I understand, one of the hardest um, ROM hacks. Of Super Mario World that you can play next to Kaizo, from what I understand. I remember Cold One used to upload, um, kind of like devlogs onto his channel that he eventually deleted. But he hasn't uploaded any videos, probably some kind of controversy or some shit. But, um, from what I understand, there's like, if you watch the, uh, if you watch. A playthrough on Phantom Savage's channel with the Bastard Brothers series. They played through Rock of Ages. They actually bring up Cold One and how he's kind of an asshole. 
and they, they talk about it on there. If you want to hear anything about Cold One and any kind of weird inside drama, that's the only bit of information I have of Cold One. I don't know if there was a video on it, because he was kind of a small channel. So, very underground kind of stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> but, if you're interested, definitely check that out. Um, and, um, I need to get a drink, too. Anything I saw with Cold Ones? No. Cold One, it's, it's not spelled like Cold Ones, it's... This was this was his name, Cold One, or his YouTube channel, The Cold, The Cold One. That was his YouTube channel. I uh, you can still go to it. It's completely different from Cold Ones. It's no they they're not related whatsoever. It's a kind of unknown channel, kinda. Is he still around? Yeah, his channel's still around. He has Demo Man as his picture. Yeah. Old channel. Wow, he actually uploaded a video two years ago. He did a series called um, Versus, where he would verse his friends and games that I've never heard of before. And they use this weird ROM hack, like, online multiplayer thing that I always wanted to know the name of it. And I could never figure out what it was. Um, the Tanks for Nothing, which was before... Um, that one game that you see on Steam. What is it called? It's called like Tank something. Let me see. It's called Shellshock, I believe, right? Shellshock? Yeah, Shellshock Live. Which, by the way, Shellshock Live was inspired by Tanks for. Uh, um, it's called Tank um, Pocket Tanks. That's what it was called. Which you can play on your phone, by the way. Really good game. But that was the classic. That was the classic tank game before Shellshock took over as the sprite one that people know of. If that makes sense. Oh, here's a classic uh, series. You remember Sumatory Dreams? Classic game. So what's funny about Sumatory Dreams Making an aimbot ruler, which you cannot get banned for. Oh, rip. Um, I should play Shell- I've been very hesitant on playing Shellshock, um, live. Even though it's literally a game that I liked. But it's just more prettier looking. And you have to unlock everything naturally. Which is a little annoying. Because what I liked about, um, Pocket Tanks, which you can still play, by the way. Um, I think you still have to buy the full version. But if you, um, t pocket tanks, what I like about that pocket tanks is that you don't choose what you have, kinda. You can, you can, you, you basically, you take turns on what items you get, and then you start the game, and then you battle your tanks, and whoever wins, wins who are, by doing more damage and getting more points. Um, but what I liked was that there's a randomizer button. If Shellshock Live doesn't have that, and you have to choose from items, it's really annoying because you don't have everything unlocked at once, which is really annoying. That's just me, at least, though. I like I like having the ability to give everybody the ability to have everything, and then randomizing that entire thing, and then everybody... Yeah, I love Worms. Worms is one of my favorites. I love um, Worms Armageddon a lot. Worms Armageddon, and then Worms... Uh, what was it? Uh, WMD was fine. I, I, I'm... On the fence on if I want to even play the Battle Royale Worms game or not because it's so not Worms, but at the same time it's it's just I mean it's different you know it's something different other than the same game. I did play the original Worms game though, and uh, World Party was I got introduced to World Party from YouTube, and I didn't know World Party was just a slightly better version of Armageddon for um, consoles. Because of, of the TF2 tie-in. Oh, yeah, no. Um, pl Worms Armageddon has so much mechanics in there that are just... There's a lot of weapons in there that haven't been remade. So it almost still has the most weapons in the game. It looks really good still. I really like the graphics of the original. It has a good aesthetic to it. The annoying thing is starting games for the game... You have to essentially, it's a really backwards ass way of doing it. They never really, for some reason, have updated it at all, which is annoying. But, um, 
and Worms Armageddon, also by the way, only ever played by Russians now, most for the most part, it's either Russians or Chinese, which is weird. I don't I don't know why why that happens, but <laughs> that's most of its online community from what I see. Um, and uh, you have to use like a bot system, so you have to use like a you have to type in the chat commands. You have to use a, essentially a terminal to start the game and a, make your own lobby and everything. Yeah, it's really weird. Um, uh, but uh, y it's either that or you set up like a LAN system, kind of like a, a like a VPN LAN kind of deal, like a Red Eye VPN or some shit, or something, something like that, or um, just some kind of way to play LAN with other people. If you want to have to make your own private LAN game virtually, that's the only way you're gonna be able to play online with friends. If you don't want to get people popping into your game automatically, and then you have to remember commands. And by the way, don't tab out of Worms Armageddon, because it the game freaks out and doesn't work properly anymore. So don't ever tab out of it, whatever you do. <laughs> There's a minimize button in the game that you click. You have to specifically click that if you want to minimize it to do something on another monitor, like look up commands. Like, give people more Worms... Um, change the times and everything. It's all done by bots rather than be allowing you to do it manually, which is really weird. But besides that, it has f it has a fun game. It has a lot of fun little mechanics and things like that. There's a game I want to play as well called Adom. It's another roguelike, and I'm I'm on the fence about it because I heard that you don't exactly need to buy the you don't need to buy the paid version the $15 one on steam you don't have to um but it's something that if you want to you can because it gives you graphics updates if you really want the graphics updates you don't you don't like the um the ascii based look of it but from my understand adam is a is one of the really popular ones of roguelikes it's one of the ogs from what i heard they're actually working on a, a sequel to adam um, currently that's just recently released into early access, but some people are very mixed about it because it, it has a lot of stuff that's just different and also some like, they need to add more quality of life stuff to it. Now you like doom, right? There is a uh, game you can play called doom RL, which is doom roguelike. It's a game that you can play. It's essentially doom. But it's a roguelike. <laughs> it has all the different little characters from Doom. You have uh, the the Kako demons. You have the regular demons. You have the funny ones. But if you want a better version of Doom RL, there's a game called Jupiter Hell. It is a more 3D. It's updated and it doesn't have the IP of Doom RL. So it has. It's literally made by the same developers. It's just different name different characters so then it can't be they can't be fucked over by a cease and desist if that ever happens but you can play doom rl for free online you just have to go to the website download it and do the whole jazz of getting it set up you don't need to have dune to play it and a game i do want to play on stream at some point is called westerado uh it was published by i think adult swims games right yeah adult swim games uh, Westerado is a really, really interesting game that I st I've watched a couple times by a YouTuber called NerdCubed, which I used to watch all the time when I was younger. I used to watch him all the time. I was introduced to his videos from his, um, same with iDubs. That's another person I forgot to mention when I was talking about YouTubers that I used to watch for a very long time before they blew up. Um iDubs was another one I watched when he did his Overgrowth playthroughs. I used to watch him play that all the time. I don't know why I liked... I, I just really was fascinated about Overgrowth's gameplay. So I was very um, deep into its updates and everything. Don't swim. I love Poker Night at the Inventory 1 and 2. I played that yesterday. Or, well, Friday. On stream. But I had to delete the T Team Fortress stream. Which you, for some reason, completely missed. I'm a little bit sad because you like Team Fortress so much. I'll have to play Team Fortress again. You know what? We'll do that this stream. We'll play some Team Fortress on stream today. 
Um, I'll, I'm gonna give this uh, maybe another 30 minutes or so. You were... I was bust. Busy. Okay. Um, I'll play some Team Fortress some more today. How about that? Since the other one had to get deleted. I played like f three and a half hours. Movie night with my family. Oh, that's cool. My... Going back to those kids that introduced me to all those things, like Lobic Planet and all that. Um, we used... Whenever I used to spend the night over there, which by the way, I feel like such an asshole, but the reason why I would go over there was so I could play on the next gen consoles the xbox 360 and playstation 3 because we didn't own one my parents wouldn't buy me one um because poor <laughs> those are expensive um so i wasn't able to play those so i went to their house so i could play them <laughs> we used to play ratchet and clank up your arsenal multiplayer even before playstation 3 and xbox we would play on playstation 2 when you play with the four player adapter but we actually watched we would watch movies as well whenever i came over um and one of the last movies i remember us watching this is also netflix when netflix still had invader zim surprisingly i used to, that was when i was introduced to invader zim but um we watched this one movie about a girl who is a sleep it was a sleep agent and she was activated by a specific code or like a you know a word or whatever password kind of thing and she woke up i forgot the name of the movie but it was about her and her being a sleeper agent and then not knowing i forgot the rest of it i it's it's so it's such a long time ago that it's okay it's an okay it was an okay movie i think i remember watching another movie which was i think it was called kung fury it was a parody of Bruce Lee movies, and it was a it was a, it was a joke. It was a f a funny film, and I remember watching that together, and that was pretty funny. I just don't remember much about it. That was another good one. But we used to watch Family Nights whenever I went over there, which was always fun. But Family Nights haven't been a thing in my f life for a long time. We did watch, I did actually, a couple years ago, like I'm talking about like maybe three or four years ago. Well, no, I'd say three years ago. Yeah, three years ago. We watched this movie called My Greek Wedding 2, which I've never even seen the first one. I've never heard of this series before, but we watched My Greek Wedding 2, and they didn't make food, by the way, during this entire time we were there. All we had were crackers and cheese and ham. And that was what all we had to eat. So I didn't eat anything the entire time, and then I went there, ate that and then i had probably my like really 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 bad stomach ache like i was in pain stomach ache for the rest of the day after that i needed to go home i was like my stomach was not having a good day because i didn't eat anything so ha that only having that stuff to eat was really messing up my stomach Mom made us, um, my mom made us, uh, well, forced me, essentially, kinda, to eat, like, a keto food today. So I guess I, I ate keto, which is something I don't do. I, I, I don't like being forced into diets, but food is food, I guess. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, like, I eat frozen dinners every day, essentially. I had, I actually had, um, tr like, frozen nuggets today for lunch. I was so bored. I was like, I was like, man, I really want to stream, but I have to, I'm, I have to wait till 6.30. <laughs> Cause I don't have any, it's spring break now for me. So I don't have anything to really do at the moment. I'm going to be studying starting tomorrow. I'm going to be studying, uh, for an examination, a civics examination made hot dogs. It just makes me sick when I eat them. I can't stand hot dogs in general. I don't like them. Um, I don't like the textures or the taste of hot dogs or bratwursts. I don't like them. The one time I had a bratwurst, it had a giant, like, hard piece. It was essentially, like, it was, like, this hard piece inside of it. And it grossed me out to the point where I didn't want to eat it anymore. Same with, um, fried chicken. You know the tendons on, like, the ends of, like, the chicken pieces? Those, like, gross me out so much that it makes me gag.
I don't like the end parts of a tendon and biting down on it and it just might me me not being able to bite it down because it's basically just like clear bone. It freaks me out. I don't it grosses me out. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's nasty. Yeah. I'm still I, I still don't know if I wanna play Stickman Henry Stickman collection tomorrow or not because I already know everything that happens, and I feel like the point of it would be to, um... I feel like the point of me playing Henry Stickman is to get a reaction, my first time reaction of it, but I already know everything that happens. So would that still be interesting? I, I don't know. I don't even know. I guess people would watch it? I don't even know if people watch it. Uh, Clan Wars, Worms Clan Wars is also an interesting game that I kind of want to play. That's like one of the more, that's like the modern... Um, worms game where it has like the water physics and everything and the special worms classes that they did the best of the bunch death road to canada you know it's funny how i hear people say they've never been able to beat the game yet i've beaten the game two or three times um on, and i was playing it on the switch <laughs> I had like my really, I guess I had a really good setup. I had my friend, um, it was just me and my friends. I made us, I was always um, paranoid. I had like paranoid uh, on my character and whatnot. Death Road to Canada. It's kind of like, it's like a, how do I describe it? I guess I'll just read the, it's an action roguelike pixel graphic zombie action game. It's one of the best zombie games ever made, essentially. Um, and it's a pixel kind of game and it has a huge amount of humor. It's not really scary Unless you turn the music off But it has a lot of tension and it has a lot of charm Put into the game. It's really fun and funny as well You can get characters like Garfield in your group. You can get other people in your group like I think you can get Danny DeVito <laughs> As like a per as like a, a, a person in your game you can get some really interesting things going on. Ooh, another game I wish... I wish... I don't even know what happened to the developers, but I wish Blockland came back. I miss Blockland. I was introduced to Blockland from YouTube and Roblox, and I miss it. I used to play it sometimes, and that was some good vibes. What's, what's Eric Hartman doing right now? What is Eric Hartman doing? Um, Bad Spot, is that what he goes by? I made a game once. Yeah, he did make a game once, and then he decided to stop making a game. That said game, or updating it. Or doing anything with it. I'm not gonna ask you again, John. What does the fox say, Garfield? Field. <sighs> uh, support. Can you still support the team? Eugene? <laughs> they live in a place called Eugene. Tech support. No, I don't want to talk about tech support. I want to figure out where the original creator went. Real name Eric Hart Hartman is an American indie game designer illustrator and developer of Blockland, born in September 9th, 1981, who presumably lives in the state of Oregon. Bad Spot runs a personal website where he uploads freeware games, drawings, animations, and blogs he creates. He also hosts dedicated websites for three of his video games, Age of Time and um, P 
perineal ninja. What's age of time? I feel like I'm going down a rabbit hole here. Hey, if you somehow got here without hearing about any uh, my other game, Blockland, then you should check it out. That was his last main thing he posted in 2007. And like, in May of, two, of 10th of 2007. What is this game? Oh boy. Oh boy, is this a game. Let's take a look, shall we? Let's take a look at our game here. So we have two games to look at here, which are pretty interesting. So let's check out Age of Time. So here's the website. Let me pull it up here. Age of Time. <laughs> he hasn't said anything. This is his game before Blockland, I guess. Um, media. Look at this game. Muddles. But why, lol? Hello. Hi, honey. What do you like? Wh uh, what would you like me to take off, sire? Yezd. What? Yes. What would you like me to take off? Shirt. There. Abdbra. One per customer. <laughs> what is this? Why are they pointing at a dead body? Named Matt. Bad spot. No. But when I did, yes, I'm in. It made errors a lot in the files. I didn't even edit. Ha 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 ha. I'm awesome. I'm gonna be hilarious if he doesn't have 4K. Yeah. Come here, ya yeah, bo. You gotta be shitting me. $4,000. Lol. Ha 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 ha. Shit. Sure. I have 1,583. I don't have that much money for that bow. So this is an MMORPG. Okay, so this is official website for an action RPG game that I am working on by myself called uh, in the Torque Engine. The game is an attempt to blend combat of first-person shooters with the character building and leveling aspects of RPGs. The game is designed to be played online with up to 30 players at once. Character information is stored um, on the server you connect to and is not transferred between servers. The idea is to build up a community around a particular server. I kind of like that idea. I'm creating this game for the fun and to learn the Torque engine. The game is currently free. And the inspiration of this game comes from an experience working on the Tribes MR RPG mod. Okay. I created most of the character textures for the mod and I also hosted a server for a while. Created mini quests, yada yada yada. Fun also how completely irrationally insane people will get as they compete for virtual possessions. Okay. <laughs> Help! Here's the controls. Here's a little tiny uh, diagram of the game. So you can tell this came out in the 90s, huh? Well, early 2000s, I guess. What did the dev say? He hasn't released any other information. I don't think this game's being worked on anymore. In fact, I'm pretty sure this game isn't even being uploaded. You could probably buy it. What am I doing? I'm looking at games made by the developer of, um... By the developer of Blockland. He, he's made a couple other games. Do not post and import anything from this game to Blockland, or I will kick your ass. Wow. Yeah, he exists. I don't... If you port anything over to my now-dead game, I'm gonna kick your ass. Alright. Let me see here real quick. Uh, we're gonna go to his other game that he made. On top of that. So, this was his other game that he... Or of a website he hosts. Called Perino, uh, Perineal. Per Perineal. Uh, let's look at the trailer. Okay, I can't full screen it, so. Okay, yes you can.
I think I get the idea. I think I get the idea of this game. Yeah, thanks for randomly popping in, Konata. There's a lot of running, jumping, and collecting coins. A bit of uh, a combo mechanic to keep up the pace. That's all we have of this. Media. Get the media. It's a lot of media. Log. 2016 was the last time we mentioned anything about this. Is he just not working on it anymore? This kind of is just like Pizza Tower, essentially. This is just Pizza Tower. You can subscribe to be notified when stuff releases about it. Air Cartman, you haven't uploaded anything in 5 billion years. Hydrate right now. I have to go get a drink because my drink is empty. So let's see here. Um, employee of Garage Games. Huh. He has his own website, badspot.us. You just, you just buy my game Blockland on Steam. You don't do anything to your fucking game. What games has he made? He's made Mario... Wait. No. No, he's been making games since 1995. Okay. Very interesting. And block... There was a Blockland prototype in 2004. Age of Time was made in 2005, then Blockland was made in 2007, and then he made Rom Shelf. Okay, Rom Shelf actually sounds pretty decent. It came out in 2011, per uh, Perennial, which he didn't do anything with, and then Mario Land Fun, which was made in... 2015, which he hasn't done anything with in 5 billion years. He also makes art now. Okay. You know, I'm not gonna lie, but what the fuck is he doing now? Huh. I guess he makes comics. I guess he's more of an artist now than making games, but that that's that's a shame that you had something, you had a, a lightning in a bottle and you eventually gave up on it. I guess in a way it died as it was known. In a way it's more peaceful if you think about it. That way is that it died peacefully. But it's a shame that there's a there's still fans for it. And it's just not getting any kind of support. Still. You'd think that someone during COVID would have actually picked up their old project and maybe did something with it. Just, you know. Something to do. You know, get your mind off of, of uh, being in lockdown. But I guess not. It's a shame. I don't even know when the last time he's updated the game. When is the last time he's updated the game? Is there any kind of updates on Steam? Let me see here. I might like, have to move everything around. Okay, let's see. Uh, Blockland. It has mixed reviews. There's some very positive ones. Um, I don't think Blockland is a bad game. And back when it, um, it was more popular, it was a, ba a blast to play with strangers and friends. Yes. Whether you were playing it as a vanilla sandbox or modded, I modded it with custom game modes. However, due to time, lack of support, and the community itself, Blockland's value and uniqueness has been significantly lowered. In 2012, they removed all interior maps, including the famous bedroom map. Wait, really? That's fucked. I, I specifically remember the bedroom map. That was the one I played on. While the devs did have the reasons they removed something that not uh only many players had fun in but it also it was also a significant symbol for the blockland community like gm construct uh for uh, gmod or two fort for tf2 yeah i agree in 2014 return to blockland 
um, RTB, the most popular add-on loader for Blockland, was discontinued and its service shut down, making it harder to install mods for the game, and some mods have compatibility issues. The last significant update to um, Blackland was around 2013, and with nothing major being added to it after all um to it after that. We have, we have seen newer and updated games being released to do some of the things Blackland did better. Gmod, uh, while it doesn't have the same sandbox structure as Blackland, it has a larger community and better mod support uh, than Blackland. Roblox, while, uh, and Roblox, while it has its problems, like copyright BS and being marketed towards kids mostly, has tools to build stuff at around the same complexity as Blackland and offers more advanced tools that can create some games with more flexibility and flair than what Blackland can offer. Minecraft, while its sandbox is more limiting, yeah, with its mostly one meter only block, it has a much larger, larger community with custom games around the same level of complexity as what Blockland can offer. Uh, on top of having its own complexity, wait, its own survival game mode that is huge in terms of what it has to offer. In fact, back in early 2010s, when the whole Roblox vs. Minecraft debate was going on, Blackland would sometimes be mentioned, being an underdog that could do some things the other games couldn't, while also having a Blockly cartoonish uh, um, aesthetic. But while Roblox and Minecraft have evolved, Blackland has got uh, stuck and is basically on life support. Even... If you think you can still play the game online, it's low player base. The first thing you are going to do uh, to probably run into is how out of touch the player base is. Most of them are people stuck in their edgy 2016 humor mindset and think building swastikas and having their server name say the n-word is, is still funny. It's still a thing in like any game like from around this time and even to this day. That's still a thing that people do. Um, the game when, what was it? It was called, I think it was called Bastion. You know the game where you build like the different wooden blocks and there was like the, there was like the whole like thing where it's like the shower and it was like a, you, you build like this weird contraption out of wood and like metal. If you know what I'm talking about, I forgot the name of it though. There's memes out of that that became, that, like edgy memes that came out of that. Um, it doesn't, um, it doesn't. It just makes the game feel more uninviting, which is true. Anytime you have people like that, and their and their entire their entire fan base. Oh yeah, you want to have another game that has stuck in their their edgy 2016 humor like this. Um, play a free. There's a almost every free to play game has these people. Um, look up. Uh, if I can find. Let me go to my library real quick. So in my library. There's a zombie game. Let me see if I can find zombies on my playlist here. I think I have an entire section of zombies on here. Yeah, zombies. Um, it's called Zombie Panic Source. Zombie Panic Source is a um, is a game that kind of came out. And Zombie Panic Source is a free to play game. A zombie game, Blockhead. I don't know what Blockhead is. Oh, I know what Blockhead is. Yeah, no, no, no. I played Blockhead. I, there's like 5 million sequels to the game because the person, for some reason, just decided to make the same game, but then put 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It's just the same game. It looked really aesthetic. I like the aesthetic of Blockhead. Um, But if you, I, I went into a server with my friend late at night on zombie panic you had some of the most edgiest people on there like some of the most edgiest fucking people um it, it was it was legitimately imagine quartz's discord server but they just ripped it out and then made it more edgy that was basically what it was it was the only active server in the game it's the only one. It has its own small little community dedicated to itself.
such an odd phenomenon that was. Never be there. I don't, I just stumbled upon it. And then I dragged Ben into it and Darian into it. Um, 2016 humor mindset. I think building swastikas yeah, 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 uh, doesn't just makes the game feel more uninviting in forms. But I do agree that does make people like that do make things more uninviting because they're they're so into it and each other. They 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 only they're only comfortable with each other because they all agree they have similar things that they like in that aspect. So then everybody who has that similar kind of mindset stick together. They they don't fuck off. They don't they don't change. They just like to be a bunch of edgy assholes, and, un, and are complete assholes to anybody who's not them, and are slightly something that they slightly don't like. They'll make a huge deal out of it. You know how many times I've done jokes, and then they don't understand that it's a joke. They take it at surface level, and then they just hate me for it for no reason. Even though said people's, and then they go go on to post the same fucking Nazi. Oh my god, I tricked you. Here's a Nazi video with like dubstep playing in the background of like some Nazi song. Because haha, edgy, haha, it's so funny. It's not after you've seen it the fiftieth time. Um, despite Blackland's flaws. It still left an impact for many people on the internet. I would like to mention um, Brickadia, which is basically a more modern version of Blockland. While still in alpha, it has very similar sandbox element to Blockland. And it has a similar game mode structure to Blockland. It also has a less toxic community. Um, I say check it out if you're interested. Because it has the closest thing to a frequently updated and supported Blockland experience you'll get. Especially later on um, when it gets more and more complete. Uh, all good things must come to an end. And, but I had a blast while it lasted. Yeah. I completely agree with this person on their opinion on the game. Because it is. It was. It was for its time. Something. Both the jokes, jokes, but they take you seriously. In that Discord server. Because you were Team Fortress, and all you ever did was just pretend to be the Team Fortress character. You never went outside of your bubble. You were so condensed in who you were that you didn't show any difference in who you were and what you were. You just kind of stuck with what you were. And it frustrates me too, is that anybody who supports me or defends me in any particular way in the server would, unless it's a large group of people, if you're the only one, you're going to get singled out and then bullied for no reason, for just being nice and supporting me, even though I literally almost did nothing wrong except exist. <laughs> that's how fucked people are. And sometimes I just got to call out on the bullshit. So that's what I've been doing this time around. On people like that is just I'm just like hey let's just talk in private how about that let's just try talking in private if you're gonna be an asshole to me DM me let's let's talk in DMs Send, uh, accept my friend request let's talk and I've had that happen there was a person who was an asshole to me and then we just talked about it and it's just a person who is depressed about their own life and their own issues that they're taking it out on me because they're depressed and they're going through a bunch of bullshit so they're just taking it out on someone who they feel like are vulnerable or some shit and that, that's kind of i tried to do a similar thing with someone else in the server but they won't accept my friend request because they're too scared so they're just coming up with, the, with an excuse to not talk to me so then they can keep maybe keeping an asshole towards me i think they've calmed down a little bit but can heal you as medic if you want play tf2 uh, sure Baldur's Gate 3. There is a, um... So the people who made Baldur's Gate 3, they made a they made a game prior to that um, called... Let me see here. It was called... I forgot what it was called. It was called, um... D -d 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 -d. It starts with a D. What was it called? It wasn't Dragon Age. What was it? Do I have it? I, I know I have the game. 
I just don't want to have to go to my... Yeah, it's called Dynasty Original Sin. They made Dynasty Original Sin 1 and 2. And um, they're working on Baldur's Gate 3. Now it's an early access. And um, some people like it, some people don't like it. It's a, it's a very polarizing game, surprisingly. Exciting, right? Um, but I don't know. I've always wanted to play Divinity Original Sin 2. The sad part is that I can't get anybody who will also buy the game. So I don't have anyone to play it with. And uh, I, don't, I, I don't know. I've not been inclined to want to play it because of it. So I just kind of have the game, but I don't do anything with it. There's a couple games in here that I have that with. It's like I want to play them, but I feel too overwhelmed to do it. So I decide I don't want to. <sighs> I'm gonna miss the peak of Team Fortress was probably 2013. I think that's when it was at its peak. Uh, obviously, that was like right to 2012 or 2013 was when they released um, released the game for free to play, and that point is when the community split because on one hand you had a larger community now. On the other hand, you had people who paid for the game now feel kind of ripped off, right? And you reviewed this game on June 2009. You shoot things, and that's pretty cool. I would recommend this game. I made that in 2019. Why would I make that comment? Um, that was only... That was... I was 25 hours into the game at the time of the review. Okay. Anyways. I don't know. That was also when they were doing some really crazy updates to the game. Apparently Jungle Inferno was the last update they did. I thought Jungle Inferno was a uh, community made thing. But I guess not. I guess Jungle... I guess Jungle Inferno was like a, um... Missions? Was that missions? I, I've never played the missions on Team Fortress 2. So... I don't know. But, yeah. That was when they were releasing, like, new updates for the game. Where they are adding, like, all the different, like, more fun-related taunts. They added, like, a parachute for the... For, um... For the, uh, soldier. So you can parachute and glide down. They added all the different little things. Um, they had like the medic update. They had like the... Who else? I think pyro update. The major pyro update. And then uh, they added man versus machine. And that was the last major update to the game really. Other than I guess jungle inferno. Um, apparently everybody wants the heavy update. That's not been a thing that's been around apparently. Yeah heavy update's never been a thing. Why did I say... Did I say heavy update? I didn't mean heavy update. It was like the engineer update, then it was the pyro update, right? I think. I think it was something like that. And then, um, there's never been a spy update. Or a sniper update. Or a scout update. Or a demo man update. Has there. But, yeah. It's just... I don't know. I, I don't even know. How do you even check how many players are on a game? How to check how many players are on a game on Steam. Steam charts, here we go. Search game. How many people are playing Team Fortress 2 right now? Okay, so there is a, in the last 30 days, there's been a negative 8,000 people, but it's all-time peak was 146,887 was its all-time peak on how many players are playing it. It's In its last 24 hours, it was 111,000, and then playing an hour ago was 98,000. So it still has a large fan base, but that's it. That's all its fan base, basically. It's just, it's just been essentially itself, hasn't it? 
at this point in time right now, there's only 98,000 people playing. But you gotta think, like, if its all-time peak was, okay, from, let's do, that was its all-time peak between this. Let's do of all time. So in 2015, so it got a huge spike in November of 2018, but it's actually picked up in plays, and its all-time peak was in November of 2020. It's kind of funny. It's actually kind of funny how it actually picked up in 2020, and that's just because of COVID, really, if you think about it. Like, that started picking up because COVID became a thing. So if you think about it, it actually helped, it helped Team Fortress, kinda. Um, and that was from 2012, which 2012, in July of 2012, that's the most, what it's had written here. Let me see here, in 2012, had about 117,000 in August 2012. But it's just kind of been low, but it's only, it's kind of slowly picked up now. And it's actually getting more popular again now than it has ever been apparently since 2012 so they don't even have statistics from prior to 2012 so that must mean that 2012 is when the free to play came out <laughs> that's the only thing i can think of unless it's not from 20 it's from a different one let me see here character pack face rig team fortress 2 that's a okay just meet the soldier Russian. These are weird things on there. Okay. But yeah. I will say that that's probably at its peak was definitely 2013, 2012. At least it, that's what it felt like to me with its community. Um, now it definitely, I guess it's gotten more popular again, which is good. But it feels, it doesn't feel like that in the official servers. I go into the official servers and my games are just like, they don't have a max amount of players at the start of it. Then again, I'm not playing, like, any of those other game modes. I should probably definitely play the other game modes. I like... I think Payload is probably the most interesting one that a lot of people like. It's also the most chaotic. Um, I, I think Payload is probably second best. There's Payload, then there's um, Control Points, and then there's... Capture the Flag. Capture the Flag is the most, is the game that makes you, makes your games go from having about like 20, I'd say like maybe like 30 or 40 minute games to becoming two hours to four hour games. Maybe even five hours or even longer than that depending on how stagnant the game becomes because sometimes those those games can turn into friendlies out of nowhere and then not friendlies out of nowhere and it just goes back and forth and sometimes it really depends because you have people you have the engineers guarding the box which sometimes the, the people aren't there and then you have the scouts who are trying to go in there to get the the capture the you know the the um the thing and then they have to bring it back and it just becomes a huge battle of trying to keep the the thing and it just it just becomes just stagnant because it's just two people defending each other for a long time and ver having very 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 little room to be able to actually go in and grab it unless people are so distracted that they don't realize that their their box is being taken and I, that's the reason why I have so many hours, like four hours on Engineer, is because those games last so long. <laughs> they last so long that it makes me scared to even touch it. Um, unless I'm willing to just play a really long game, because those can last forever. That's the problem with Capture Flag sometimes. But it can also make it fun. It's like a double-edged sword. It can be fun, but it can be really annoying and time-consuming. And then you ha end up having a lot of people leaving and joining, leaving and joining throughout the entire time. It's such an interesting concept. And 
I don't know. Team Fortress's community is still going strong. I guess there's just... I guess it's just... We're just lucky that there's still enough content in the game to where it, it can last people for a very, very long time. And it, it helps that... Like... I think that's just, that's just amazing. I think... We, Team Fortress has managed to be a perfect game in its own right in terms of a multiplayer shooting game, like bullet hell shooting game. It's still, in my opinion, Team Fortress 2 is better than Overwatch. It's better, even though I've never played Overwatch, I can tell for a fact that it's better than Overwatch. Um, it's better than Backbreakers or whatever that one game. No, Backbreaker is, is a football game. Um, that one lawbreakers that's what it was called lawbreakers and then that game died um any kind of team system battle game is probably not as go good as the og because the og is the one that did it right and is also has the most charm in my opinion although i will say there's a lot of charm in overwatch again i think it's stupid that they're making overwatch 2 and not just overwatch that's probably the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But I digress, you know? Something, sometimes shit like that happens. But man, oh man. It's just a shame. I want the game to get more updates. <laughs> I want more things to be added into the game. That's when it was the most fun. Because that meant things were constantly changing, which made the game a lot more intriguing to me at the time. Anyways, I want to stop talking about Team Fortress 2. I want to get into Team Fortress 2. I want to play some Team Fortress 2. So I'm going to go use the restroom and then we will, we will switch to Team Fortress 2. Let me uh, change everything real quick. I should try Team Fortress Classic. I wonder if that game will ever get popular. Okay, I will be right back. And we're gonna start playing Team Fortress 2. All right, I'm back. We're gonna start playing some TF2. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there you go. No, you don't get to see that anymore. All right. Uh, I miss playing Stardew now. 
you know what? I think over the su over the spring break, I'm gonna learn how to play fishing planet. That's what I want to do now. Is learn how to play fishing planet. Yeah, I'm quite excited to play this. I played a little bit of it on my own. I don't know. This game kind of felt a little off earlier. Maybe it's just I don't know. I'm gonna maybe check my set up my character, my uh, soldier character. Come on, hello, Kim. There you go. Um, let's see here. I've never tried these, but there was this person who kept destroying me with this thing. I feel like I should just use this gun for a little bit, cause someone was like really fucking me up with it. There's also the Liberty Launcher. The issue is that there's a damage penalty. Which is, uh, something I don't exactly know if I want. And it's 25% damage penalty. This is the regular rocket launcher. It just has, like, a skull on it. And then the beggar's bazooka, which holds, you have to hold, like, the thing, and it shoots up to three. And it has three degrees of random projectile deviation overloading the chamber will cause a misfire, which is fucked. That's a really weird gun. Um, so I'm gonna try the black box, maybe. I like the the Bussy Annihilator, the classic rocket launcher Bussy Annihilator. But I do want to do the black box at some point. I'll probably do it after a little. And then you have the shotgun, which is always a good gun to have. Panic attack is fine. It just has like a 20% damage penalty. I would rather just keep the regular old shotgun. Um, these are fine, but I don't see any point in having them. This gun's kind of poo-poo pee-pee. Only 20% damage to the buildings, which is not that good. Even though that's only good. Well, I, that's fine if you're playing on regular. And then you have the equalizer, which is like a... Damage increases as the user becomes injured, which is interesting. I might just keep it as a shovel. Um, or the frying pan. A shovel or frying pan? Frying pan's always cool. Also, it's the shovel. I'll just keep it as a shovel. Why not? Just keep the classic weapons. Um, that's always nice. Okay. I have my setup for that. And then cringy... <laughs> cringy scout character. Pyro, of course. Gotta have the, the dumb stuff on there. Um, I don't even know how to use this properly. That's something I could use at some point. I have an Xmas, a Swiss Miss, like, flamethrower. Okay. So it's just an average flamethrower. You have Demo Man, classic. I put um, paint on it. Yellow paint. Because why not? You have a uh, good old... Good old... Uh, Natasha, I heard, is okay. It's pretty decent. And then you just have the regular Iron Curtain. Which has the logo on there. The, uh, the sickle and hammer. Family Business is a fun gun. I like the Family Business gun. Um, it looks cool has um faster reload speed it just only has a it only has a 15 percent damage penalty which is good so it's a fun gun to have and the warriors uh spirit i could probably do critical chance okay let's do this one instead let's do the old boxing gloves firing speed oh never mind okay i'll just do frying pan then he can just have a frying pan enjoy that uh heavy engineer you can just keep your normal stuff i guess the festive uh the festive wrench i also have the gunslinger but meh you looking good Construction PDA, I didn't even think you could get a different one. Manic, I just have the classic stuff. I could do the quick fix, which is fun, but 
yeah, it, it just doesn't give you a good enough uber charge like this one can. It's a medigun too. And then I have the uber saw, of course, because the uber saw, whenever you hit someone with it, you can do a bunch of st stuff to that. It's pretty good. And then you have the sniper. I just have the basic stuff on him. And of course, the ghostly gibbous. He's looking like a... Like... <laughs> He's looking like, um... <laughs> a free-to-play character. <laughs> and then you have Spy, which I never touch. I never noticed this, but Spy's watch is a calculator watch, isn't it? And then the cloak and dagger, which is interesting. Sapper. Fuck the sapper. I hate the sapper. All my homies hate the sapper. Apparently I've done the Operation Oil Spill. And then yeah, Soldier. Okay. We're gonna play Casual. Let's do, um... Capturing the enemy's points and stopping the enemy from capturing yours. We'll keep that on. Uh, we'll keep we'll keep everything on except King of the Hill. So we'll do payload, control points, capture the flag, and attack and defense. Oh yeah, you can choose like which maps you want, don't like you want specifically. And then you have also alternative game modes. What? Okay. We're gonna start the shirt. Search. 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 You know what I'm hoping? I'm gonna hope that I get a hat. Look at that, Soldier's now taken over as most played character. And most points now, over Engineer. I'll play some more Soldier. I like Soldier. You were good, maybe even the best. It's also kind of- Oh, hey! I do not see a cart moving, ladies! Not moving, lads. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Gamer meat got me. Medic. Medic. You know what? I hate, I hate that guy. He stabbed me in the back two times now. Two times. I've been stabbed in the back. I saw you, asshole. Oh, fuck you. Alright, where are you? Where are you, huh? Where are you? Hmm? Where are you? 
There you are. Fuck you. Oh god. How am I doing? Okay, I'm even. Mission ends in 60 seconds. Yeah, we failed. I'm on the losing team. I'm on the losing team. Fuck gamer meat, by the way. Mission ends in 10 seconds. Run! Run! <laughs> Fuck you. Ah, uh, goddammit. I'm on the losing shitty team and I'm not doing good either, but whatever. Mission begins in 60 seconds. That is a good spot, actually. Hold up. That's a really nice spot. I could, uh... Oh, thanks, Dad. Mission begins in 30 seconds. Naughty Ninjas version, like, Volume 9? What? It's a, that's a good spot to be. I'll have to remember that spot. What do you miss? I... nothing. Five, four, You've literally three, missed basically nothing, two, I just started. One. God damn it. Okay. Samwise the black, the inward, left the game. Good. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> I'm funny. I said inward. I'm so fucking funny. Hey guys. All right. Woo. God damn it. Fuck! Shit! Oh, hey. There. I don't know why I couldn't fucking hit it. Oh, hey. Apparently, I killed someone. Cool. God damn it. Ah. Oh, Veter's in. That's what uh, professionals do. <laughs> oh.
Get to the cart. Look at my epic gamer strats. Hold on, I gotta reload. Oh, good job. Shit. Oh, God. No! I'm gonna hop in and pocket you. Pocket me? What the fuck? Is it like a sexual thing? That I go medic and I heal you. I'm pocket medic. I don't. I would just need someone to be part of my team. I just. You don't have to just s spot me. <laughs> or whatever you call it. Oh, hey. There's a guy here. Where is he? Where is he? Where'd he go? I hope he died. Okay, I think he died. I'm waiting for... Okay. I need to get ammo. It's fine. Oh god, random crits! Fuck. Shit ass. I think that was an assist. That counts as an assist. Yeah, whatever. Metal Navigator. <laughs> Come. Next two hours free. Alright. Do you have me? I'm pretty sure you have me added on Steam. Get, get that, whatever. Yeah, that's not good. I'm out. I'm out. Nice. Got him. Medic. Medic! Go, go down. Grab it. Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. <laughs> I'm being a little poo poo pee pee. See, I uh, just sent an invite. You can join, it's open, as long as you're my friend. Just kind of like shooting in this general area, and they're for some reason like. Oh hey, hi! I I got stuck. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I couldn't move. I was trying to move. He just kind of fucking stabbed me. I'm not your Steam friend. Okay. Uh, view all friends. You sent me a friend request, right? Yeah, you did. Okay. 
You're crazy Boris. Perfect. I will confirm you. There you go. Door stuck. That was a pretty funny meme, though. I'll give him that. That was a really silly meme. Hold on. God damn it. I got so... Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Cool. One. I'm going negative. Damn, did you watch that person explode themselves? We win! Damn it. Alright, let me disconnect. You can join because it's open to friends. There's Sniper. Oh boy, I sure do want war paint. Decal. Add a custom decal to eligible items. Let me sell this on the market. How much would this go for? Oh yeah, 11 cents, baby. Now that's money right there. That's 11 cents, look at that. I could sell that for 11 cents, let's do it. I'm putting it up on sale for 11 cents. I'm confirming it. I put it up for 11 cents on here. I have VC turned off, by the way, and text chat, so... We'll see anything weird. Uh, actually, hold up. Let me just make sure. Okay, voice chat is turned off. For some reason, the game returned it back on. Okay. We could also play man versus machine if you can, but... I think everything's how I have it, yeah. Payload is apparently the most popular game mode. I don't know. There's something unbalanced about um, payload sometimes. What are we playing now? We're playing payload, of course, on Thunder Mountain, of course. Thunder Mountain's the most chaotic. You know what? I'll give I'll give Sniper a try. I'll give Sniping a try, of course. God damn it. Fuck. Um, uh, Sydney. I got killed by the Sydney sleeper. I gotta be a sniper. And remember, it's always good to move positions. You don't need to heal me. You can go do what you need to do. I'm, I'm, j I'm playing sniper. I'm literally playing the most anti-like. 
normal class. Oh, hold on. I missed. Oh, he knows where I am. <laughs> oh, fuck you, dude. Okay, thanks. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh my god. I hit the- I clicked the button as he clicked his, but he got me. He's gonna get sniped. He's gonna bit get stabbed by the, uh... <laughs> for the, by the spy in the background. Ominously, like, looking at him. Damn it. Oh, I see the sniper. Do you see him? He's trying to shoot me. Everyone's burning. God damn it. Damn it. Also, make sure to watch behind us. There's just people pretending to be like... It's just fucked, isn't it? God damn it. It's him! It's Soul Shooter! I gotta kill Soul Shooter. He's at the top there, I guess, right? Yeah. I missed. There. Oh, there he is. Oh, wait. So that's where he was. Okay. Okay, that was our teammate. Got it. The phone's moving the wrong way. Oh. You okay? Oh, medic, medic. Thanks. Damn it. Oh. I, I, I couldn't fucking reload in time. Fuck it. If only I had a, uh... okay, that probably should have hit. Oh. Okay, he's dead, he's dead. God fucking damn it. I'm like shoot. I'm like barely missing. God damn it.
God, fucking Bowser. Oh shit. All right, I'm playing someone else. I'll play. Uh, I'll play. Uh, I'll play soldier. I guess. Medic, fuck you. What are we doing in this game mode? Are we pushing the cart back or are we pushing the cart forward? Okay, so we're pushing the cart. It's just that we suck at it. So this entire time, we've been trying to push the cart, but we're not. Alright, I'm gonna play heavy. Everyone get to it. Oh yes, of course, the air killed me. Alright, I'm gonna play fucking I'm gonna play heavy we failed damn depression Hit you. I'm going to soft all your bones. Thank you, Doctor. Mission begins in thirty seconds. Got them. God damn it. I miss like every shot. It's really hard to focus when you have <laughs> just so much noise. The doctor! The doctor! The doctor! The doctor! Do not let them get the toy they need to go. Okay. 
God damn it. Fuck it. I'm gonna play double man now. Nom 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 nom. God damn it. I tried. Oh, fuck. They're already here. <laughs> God damn. There's like hackers in here. I'm pretty sure what poppin' is hacking. No, 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 no. Uh, report a player. What's poppin'? Uh, where are they? What's poppin'? Are they still in here? Fuck it, whatever. God damn it. <laughs> Fuck. They're already about to win. Just wanted to mention that. Our team sucks. And also, I suck. I need a team that can carry me. Oh, great. Great. What? Okay. I want to try um, using the... Holy shit. Medic, thank you. God damn it. You just have like Scout just creepily peering out the window. Like right there, look at him. He's just scared, like just there. I'm not going out there. I'm gonna wait. Because you have people who are... Holy shit. Yeah, yeah, don't pop your head out. Don't pop your head out, whatever you do. Just wait for them to come to us because... God, medic, 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 medic. Oh god. 
Get over here. Get over here. It's fine. We're cool. We're cool. Oh god, oh god. No, don't look at the gun, you dumb dumb. I'm trying to get rid of that fucking... Damn it, I missed. God damn it, God damn it. Oh, hey. Medic, medic. God damn it. Sucks. <laughs> Yay! Woo! 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 We're going up against the team of a bunch of veteran players! Woo! There's like one or two veteran players on this team. I don't know what we're doing. What are we doing? Oh, is is this the team? Oh, this is the enemy people. Okay. I'm gonna go this way. I'm gonna get up here. Oh, fuck. I get- I- Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Spy. Spy. Thanks. That medic is a spy. Thanks. That medic is a spy. Oh shit, okay. God fucking damn it. There was a med kit there. I don't know. Okay. Fuck. 
Look at how fast it's going! What the fuck? Why is it- it has like three people on it! That's fucked. Oh. God damn it, dude. Fuck. <laughs> Piss off, dickhead. This game is stupid. I hate this game. I hate the fact that they're literally gonna beat us in like a couple seconds. Cause that makes sense, right? God damn it. I got killed by like... I was like being attacked by like three things at once. Okay, I need to get upstairs. You'll see in a second. God damn, okay. They're all in like that fucking room like a bunch of pack rats. It's like a fucking gangbang at like a furry con. Wow, I sold an item for nine cents on Steam. Someone bought the decal tool on Steam that I sold. Sorry. Fuck you. Oh. Oh, hey, okay. On the bright side. On the bright side, I'm almost going even. That's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. Game breaker. Medic.
Oh, oh, sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to fucking. Oh, hey. God damn it. Fire, fire, fire! This is a huge battle between two people. And our team is losing. Yeah, you maggots better hurry up or else I'm gonna- Daddy's gonna get very mad. Daddy's gonna be not happy if you keep fucking up. Watch this, watch this, watch this. Shh. Don't tell him. They're not here. Or they're up here. Stand next to the cart, damn you! Watch, they're all gonna come up here. Watch, watch. Let's see. Fuck. Fuck you. Fuck your dumb, stupid teleporter, you bitch. I think you smell like... poo poo pee pee. Daddy wants his whole picks. Fuck you. You can't trick me, asshole. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. It's gonna come from up above. Oh shit, yep. God damn it, god damn it, I'm fucked. God damn it, dude. <sighs> Fuck you. Oh god. <laughs> I'm just sitting there trying to defend the point as best as I can. Oh, Cliffy is doing better than me now. God damn it, Cliffy. Oh, they're playing they're playing Pyro, that's why. Of course, Pyro. You miserable little poop. Yeah, run away. Oh yeah, they're they're probably at the uh God damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it, god damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it. It didn't even blow up. Give them hell, boys. Thanks for the aid. You know what? I'm switching my gun. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the Liberty Launcher. Let's see how this does. How do you kill yourself? How do you kill yourself? Yeah, how do I kill myself? You can't kill yourself? Okay, hold on. I got a better idea. No, stop it! Stop it. I want to switch my gun. I want to switch my gun. Then I'll just kill myself through normal mains. Fuck you. I'm gonna kill myself through normal means. I'm gonna kill myself. There. 
Three, now I can try a two, different gun for once. One. There we go. Let's try this gun. I got Bowser. Fuck you, Bowser. Fucking hate you, Bowser. I hate you, Bowser. Doug Bowser. Of Nintendo. Oh god. God damn it. Is it nearing the- oh no. Oh no! Oh no. God, I hate- Fuck! Ah, uh, Fucking McChicken Nugget! He keeps killing me! Our team sucks. We haven't won a single game. Which is fine. It's okay to lose. Oh god. Uh, dude, I was low on health. Oh no, I'm not god tier at the fuck game. I'm gonna leave. <laughs> if if this Team Fortress 2 player who is streaming the game is not god tier at it, I'm leaving. They have to be good at the game to, uh, to be watchable. God damn, dude. Does he have Chris Craig or some shit? Because fucking... I, s I swear, that... Whatever. The Uber charge lasts forever. Oh, hey. Hey, Medic, can you heal me? Thank you.
good, he's dead. Where do they have to go? Oh, they have to go this way. Okay. How does this go? Do they just wait till it goes? I guess we just have to wait to go. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, that's great. I have to reload. Yeah. Fuck, dude. I didn't have my fucking shotgun reloaded. I could have killed him. There was no way I was gonna use a fucking rocket launcher in a closed, in, like, quarters area. So, of course, at the time I needed it the most, of course I needed to reload my shotgun. Oh, great. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah, that's great. As... I'm just depressed. This game just makes me depressed. Whenever I'm just doing shit. Yep. Great. What a surprise. They've won, they won seven games. We won zero. <sighs> I want to die. Oh boy, at least I got an item. I bet it's not gonna be a hat. It's a short stop again. Wow. <sighs> wow. What a game. That was exciting. <sighs> okay. I think I'm going to end it here for today. Sadly.
I guess I'm playing Henry Stickman tomorrow, so. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, man. What a shit game. Depression. Yeah, whatever. Uh, you guys have a good morning, good afternoon, good night, good day, whatever. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.